يلا فيكم زائد كمدمنت Uh, I'll read it for you, read the context, because sometimes people think we take it out of context. So you can read the context, all right? I'll get it for you, inshallah. Where are you from? Yeah. Uh, Czech Republic. Czech Republic, nice to meet you. I'm from Algeria. Yeah. Nice to meet you. Uh, what is it? Uh, Samuel. Samuel. Uh, 1. 15. Uh, Samuel 1. 15. Let's go. Here. Samuel said to Saul, I am the one the Lord sent to anoint you, king over his people, Israel. So listen now the message from the Lord. This is what the Lord Almighty says. I will punish Malachites for what they did to Israel when they waylaid them as they came out from Egypt. So this goes back like 500 years before Samuel. Yeah? Now go attack the Malachites and totally destroy all that they belongs to them. Do not spare them. Put to death men and women, children and infants, cattle and a sheep, camels and a donkeys. Yeah. yeah. So okay. God said to him, go kill the Malachite children, babies. You know, infants. You know it's infants, yeah? Infants are two months, three months. Mm -hmm. So God said, go kill them because something happened 500 years ago to the Israelites. Yeah. There's other passages too, you know, when God said to kill babies. But Prophet Muhammad, you know what he said? Our Prophet Muhammad said, in the war, in the war, when there is a war, don't kill men who is innocent, don't kill women, don't kill children. You understand? When the Prophet Muhammad heard someone kill the woman in the war, he said, why do you kill her? She has nothing to do with it. You understand? But we have the Bible here. On the other side, you are also your, your example in uh, Islam is also the Abraham, and Abraham he was going actually from this from this area from Mesopotamia and so on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, uh, yeah, he was actually leading also by God. We have the same God actually. No, no, I'm not rejecting that. But what I'm saying to you, because uh, you said uh, it, I know the Ten Commandments and don't kill. But I'm just showing you in the Bible it says to kill babies. That's my point. But yes, we do. Yeah, but it is, yeah, God, He said, but we have actually the same God, uh, Christian, uh, and actually. You, you believe Jesus to be God? Yes. I don't believe Jesus to be God. Yeah, okay. And but Abraham. Accepted that you don't believe. Yeah, no, no, no. But Abraham, Abraham, yeah. he never believed Jesus to be God. Mm -hmm. And also, let me ask you something. You seem a smart person. Is God perfect? God is perfect. Yeah. God is perfect. Yeah. Yeah. God knows everything. Yeah. Yeah. You as a Christian, as a Muslim, we know that God knows everything, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. So if Jesus is God, by default, he has to know everything. If, if Jesus is God, he has to know everything, yeah. because God knows everything. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But in the Bible, in Mark 13, 32, mm -hmm. Jesus said, "No one knows the day and the hour, not even the angels in the heaven, nor the Son, but only the Father." According to Jesus, the mighty messenger, we believe Jesus to be the true Messiah, he doesn't know when the day of judgment is going to happen. Mm -hmm. So therefore, according to you and I, what we agreed on that God must know everything, Jesus cannot be God because he doesn't know everything. Mm -hmm. if, you, if you say this, this one thing that he don't know, even at this day, mm -hmm. uh, on the other side, he's, because he's obeying his father, but uh, he's also in uh, heaven. If we, uh, we can see this of his uh, one person, if we say as God or free, uh, because this is in Christian a uh, little different. But uh, anyway, with, with this. But I have respect, I have respect. Sorry, sorry. Same, no. same, same God I have respect, actually. I have respect. Yeah. Sorry, I have respect. Uh, we have to be honest, you know. I mean, like, I just showed you, and you agreed with me that God knows everything. Mm -hmm. Then I showed you Jesus does know everything. Mm -hmm. How you is still. Other, be is something other, other point that you see that Jesus. Uh, Cannot be God? Thing? Yeah, yeah. I'll tell you other things. Yeah. Does God have a God? Does God have a God? Yeah. 
Does God have a God? That's my question. Does God have a God? No. Because God is the God of everything. Yeah. Doesn't make any sense God to have a God. In the Bible again, Jesus said, I'm going to my God and your God. So Jesus has a God. And you know what's interesting as well? In the Quran, in the Quran, hear me out. In the Quran, Allah told Prophet Muhammad, they ask about day of judgment. Say no one knows except Allah. So Prophet Jesus and Prophet Muhammad, they said the same thing. They don't know about day of judgment. So that proved they were just prophets of God. They were not God. On the other side, uh, Jesus said, You always go other side? Me, he knows also Father. And Father, he was going and he was saying, He is my, my belonging uh, son, son, as he was uh, baptized. So it's actually connection between them. It's us just uh, God doesn't Yeah, I believe it's a prophet. We, we believe that there are three, three persons uh, God, uh, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Yeah. And this is very, very in Christ, uh, very cl close to Christ. So uh, the, Jesus, is he God or the Son of God? Is Jesus God or the Son of God? Which one is it? Yeah, good. <laughs> yeah, which one? I, I'm, I'm no theologist that to explain, yeah. No, we'll lie, you don't mean... I, I know that you are prepared for this. No, no, we'll lie, no, I'm prepared to be so honest, Baba. Uh, what I will say to you? It's good. Yeah, oh, that's what I'm doing. I'm planting something to think yeah. about it. Yeah, because yeah. what I'm speaking about, you don't have to be a scholar. I'm speaking about a simple, rational thing. Yeah. Jesus is God. Then no, no, he's a son of God. So either he's God or a son of God. If he's son of God, is he son of himself? Doesn't make any sense. And also, let me tell you something, yeah? You know, in the Quran, Allah said about Jesus and his mother, both of them used to eat food. You know what it means? It means they cannot be God because God is a self-sufficient. God is not in need of food. Who's in need of food is the creation. God is the creator. That is a logical, rational proof in the Quran why Jesus cannot be God. Those other things that, that uh, I English Jesus he made, uh, that he died and he was erased. Uh, this uh, I don't know who somebody managed the same things like this. Yeah. Jesus died. Uh, okay. Without, without help from God, he will not manage this, those things. Yeah. And he was coming on the earth that he was helping us actually to understand uh, this love that uh, God's love. I think this is the most most thing. We, About love. Course, yeah, yeah. Those ten commandments they are uh, they are good. But actually, in the Bible, it said that the love is actually the best. So it means us when we when we you know communicate and okay. <laughs> we don't fight. But, but, it's the but, best. but no doubt about yeah, that. It's good. To, it's good. But we have to be realistic to ourselves. We are living in the in the universe when there are some evil people, and we have to use some no, violence only, against them. Let me out. Only, one one thing. So people are there also. It's also uh, Satan actually the uh, Lucifer. To discuss. In, Lucifer, so it means, Lucifer, uh, yeah, yeah. the devil. I, yeah. yeah, God. It, this is one thing, and uh, he's he's real. We don't see him because he's above our dimension. On another side is also Satan, and he, he uh, is trying to uh, different things to make uh, pain. I mean, the catastrophes. We are as person, as men, uh, mankind. Yeah, we are mm -hmm. responsible for many things, but God is putting uh, in many people those uh, thoughts. Maybe so be Hitler. I am from Middle Europe, yeah. Okay. And I know this person uh, that that he was uh, actually that people as uh, uh, tools used to uh, uh, to stay on the uh, God side and to to help uh, good people, to, to our yeah, people, to our people. Or, or Satan is using uh, and it's question. Satan is evil. To decide on which side he stays on. Yeah, no doubt, no doubt. But I want to go back about love. Uh, I, I no problem. I, I am offside. side. I, I want to go back about love, yeah. The love bit that you mentioned, you know, to love is good, no doubt, to love. But love is special. Love is special, especially the love of God is very special. But the, Jesus, he never came for love only. He never came because in the Bible, in Mark 52, 12, 12, 52, is in Mark, yeah. Jesus said, I, do you think I came with peace? Not at all. Rather, I came with division. So Jesus said he never came with peace. Understand? My so point is, sorry. Corner, and get out of the you house. go away. <laughs> no, 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 we have to. No, no, we have to. Have to. Yeah, 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 it's right, it's right, it's right. Yeah, yeah, it's right, it's right. Yeah, yeah, it's it's right. Here, yeah, yeah. It's because problem. corner is everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's right, it's right. We, don't, we should, you know, we should not, sometimes we don't get angry, but it's right. We are blocking the path. Come inside, We have to give, uh, Prophet Muhammad taught us that give uh, a path, it's right. But I will say to you quickly, look, 
yeah, uh, talking about the devil, all of that. My point here is the oneness of God. When it comes to the oneness of God, Islamic teaching is simple. Qul Allah ahad. Say Allah is one. Allah Samad is a master self-sufficient. Lam yalid wa lam yulad. He begat not, neither was he begotten. Wa lam yakul lahu kufuwan ahad. He, there's nothing like unto God. When it comes to Islamic teaching, Allah is perfect. He creates us to worship him. And he wants to show us his love, his mercy, his forgiveness. But also God will show us his anger and his mighty for us to fear him and to love him and to hope for us to love him and to fear him and to have hope in him. When it comes to Christianity, there's confusion. Why? You have the father is God, correct? Is the father fully God? Uh, your your uh, religion is actually was coming later. What was happened before? But the Hinduism is before for, Christianity. For That's me, not a good point. For, for me, it's for me uh, interesting how it was for her. Uh, it, it was Abraham and he was also... Uh, but Abraham was Muslim. Yeah, Abraham is not Muslim. What was he then? <laughs> He was he was leaving uh, what what uh, God he said to him and uh, it was when we look farther the the, the uh, baum of Leban uh, Leban's baum the tree of uh, the Abraham it was, he was actually uh, before uh, Jesus came so if you look this tree of uh, how you say you know this parents and uh, did uh, let me ask you a question sorry did Abraham submit to God did Abraham submit to God. Yeah. yeah, submit to God. He what was is also offering. No, see, sorry. Abraham, what is Islam? What is Islam? Abraham, Abraham, sorry, sorry, for you to understand. Because yeah, yeah. what is Islam? Islam yeah. in English means submission. So Islam is not like an Arab world dancing, no. It's yeah. Islam means to submit to God according to God's teaching. Abraham was not Jew. He was not Christian. You know, he's not Jewish, Abraham. Yeah. So not Muslim. He no, he was a Muslim because he submitted to God. Yeah. That's why I mean Muslim, to submit to God according to God's teaching. Yeah. That's what Muslim means. But why was, why, was, yeah. why was actually Abraham, why was Abraham going afterwards and it was then in, uh, coming to Jesus, you know? Never, uh, no, no, Abraham never had a clue about Jesus. So in, the, in the Old Testament, yeah. there is no Jesus at all. Yeah. Rather, in the Old many, Testament, hear me, hear me. There are many things they, they say in New Testament, uh, they, they, uh, they are... Uh, in the Old Testament? In the Old Testament, and they are, uh, can, you can say, uh, God Father or their God Son, that is the difference, but... Uh, okay, in the Old Testament says, yeah? It says, anyone that is crucified is cursed. Do you know about the Old Testament? No, I don't understand. Anyone that is hanged on a tree yeah. or on a cross is cursed. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Yes? Uh -huh. So in the Old Testament, the Israelite, God has been teaching them that if you've been hanged on a tree or been hanged on a cross or anything, uh -huh. you are cursed. Okay. And to be cursed is something that's not good. Correct? Yeah, yeah, All right. So I'm now... Just, I'm just coming to... to let, let me finish the, the point. Yeah, but let me finish the point. Sorry, sorry. So now what happened to Paul who changed Christianity Paul, when he noticed that if we do believe Jesus was crucified, then we're going to go and guess the Bible, the Old Testament. So what Paul said, Jesus became cursed because of us. So according to Paul, Jesus and Satan are the same because both of them are cursed. But in Islamic teaching, Jesus was not cursed. He was a holy person. He was a good person. So you should come to Islam if you really love Jesus. Because in Christianity, Paul made Jesus to be cursed. And you just told me curse something bad. Yeah. I will come on the beginning of the, our discussion with, with Abraham and uh, I want to say, uh, uh, you say with those killings, actually, it was also God. He was telling him to, to make this offer. Afterwards, he decided not to make The son, it. about the son. Uh, about his son, yeah. yeah. About his son. Yeah, about his son. Yeah, but he never killed him. He never he killed was, him. He was not killed him. Yeah, yeah it was a test uh, to test him, yeah. to test his belief and to test his love for God. Because remember, Abraham, he was very old in age when he had his son. So he loved, he loved his son so much, you know, he was very old and he has a son. So Allah wanted to test his love, even Allah knows, yeah, yeah. you know. So that what happened, he never killed him and he gave him a son. Mm -hmm. But what I would say to you, uh, out of respect, when you come to Islam, Islam is clear, it makes sense. No, we know, we know, we Christianity doesn't make any sense. All religions, all religions, we know Christians, they made uh, bad things in the history, Islam, we know also now. No, no, we're not judging the people, forget about people, we talk about the, 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 the uh, sorry, we're not talking about, uh, it's true, there's some bad Muslims, uh, bad Christians, uh, no doubt, not every Christian is the same, no more, but what I'm talking about here, the belief system, the Islamic belief system, it goes in line with our sound reasoning. Who gave us our sound reasoning and our natural inclination is God. When it comes to Christianity, Christianity go and guess our sound reasoning and our natural inclination. So God will never create us with the tools that go and guess his revelation. But Islamic re the revelation from God, it goes in line with God's tools that he created with us. God is perfect. In Christianity, let me go Old Testament. Does God regret? Does God regret? You know his regret? 
Yeah, but in this, in this connection, I don't know what you mean. Regret mean, yeah. like imagine, regret when you do something, then you say, I wish I never did it. Mm -hmm. Because you don't know, the, you didn't know the outcome of it. You didn't know the outcome of it. So you regret it. He said, like, for example, for example, if I say to you, uh, hold my phone, yeah? Then I go, I come back, you take my phone. I say, I regret giving you my phone because I didn't know that you would take my phone. Are you here, yeah? I'm mean, listening. I'm a little bit hurried, so... Yeah, yeah, no, no, I'm going to finish. So in the, in the, in the Old Testament, yeah. in the Bible, God regrets. He says, I greatly regret for choosing Saul as a king. Mm -hmm. So in the Bible, God regrets. And regrets when you don't know the outcome of something. That's deficiency. That's why in the Bible, God is being spoken about in a bad way. Likewise, about the prophets of God. Mm -hmm. When you come to Quran, even about, uh, Allah mentioned, He's perfect. The prophets of God in the Quran, they are the best people. Mm -hmm. So you should learn about Islam, inshallah. Yeah. You should learn what is Islam, and may Allah, may Allah guide you. Okay. Is that Bible? Thank you for, thank you for discussion. Thank you very much. <laughs> Talking to you. To yeah, yeah, yeah. Broken. May Allah give you shifa. <laughs> Where is that? Great controversy. This, uh, I think I, uh, we, are, we are mentioning and we are thinking uh, about uh, those things uh, from, uh, from our level of understanding. But uh, it's actually this big, uh, big, uh, on the, on the, um, how to say it? In the heaven, yeah, in the heaven, yeah. In the heaven. I'm, I'm in this good and uh, evil, yeah. And this is always that uh, we the, need to be. Uh, everybody needs to be very serious to think that this is like nobody can judge the other soul of us. You know, there's it, the best. The best way is to, actually to to have religions. Uh, always they have some system, and they, uh, uh, but it's important to to the have that the best uh, connection with with God. Of course, not that I I make myself to God. But that I say, God, I'm open to, to hear you and to obey your principles, yeah. But because each uh, religion uh, system, if it's going, then it has, uh, has some tendencies to move. To the, the best system for the people, uh, for the universe, is Islamic system. I'm telling you, system, yes. Islam, I guess, look, you know, Christianity, you allow drinking alcohol, uh -huh. wine. You believe the blood of Jesus is wine. Yeah? No, it's, uh, yeah, yeah, it doesn't exist in the Bible. Catholic Church, but I am, yeah, but in the Bible I says that. And I know that the best, the best actually nations that we have seen uh, on this earth, it was those they were uh, following the, the principle of God. Uh, I mean Protestantism. Yeah. Luke, no, no, no. Protestants uh, killed many, people many people. Are Protestants killed, you know. It's uh, wrong. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. In the Bible. Know, but you was also coming to Europe. On no, no. Forget Spain Catholic. Forget Catholic. So uh, uh, listen carefully. I'm talking about the wine. Wine. Uh, I'm not in, in the Bible, I, I know. I'm talking about Bible. In the Bible teaches you, wine is the blood of Jesus. Uh -huh. Yeah, that's why it's allowed for you to drink alcohol in your in, in your in your religion. No, I don't drink. Uh, no, no, I, I know you don't drink, but it's allowed in the yeah. Christianity. It's allowed but to not, drink alcohol. Not alcoholic, not alcoholic. Uh, uh, what wine? Not alcoholic wine. No, it's alcoholic. Normal, normal, normal yeah. wine. Pasta fest, um, in the Pasta feast, it was alcohol forbidden. No. Show me. Show me. Like. And it, and the no, 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 show me, show me, because it was not, I know Christianity. But alcohol is not forbidden in your religion. Show me. No, uh, show me in the Bible where it says alcohol is forbidden. Show me. We have no Bible now with us. <laughs> no, it's not, it's not. I know, but it's not, it's not. But there anyway, are many things. Uh, all right. are many we pray to Allah guide you to Islam. Do you, know, uh, do you have any book here? Oh, I didn't bring no book to give you. I was going to give you something to read, like you gave me something to read. Yeah. I was gonna, but we pray to Allah guide you. One to one, because I am hurry. Because no problem. Take care of yourself, nice Inshallah. No, it's nice to talk to you. You take care as well. Take care. Bye bye. I'm from Algeria. Algeria. Yes, North Africa.